afternoon baseball now from the heart of Texas and Globe Life Field in Arlington. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Kansas City Royals and the Texas Rangers. Major League Baseball on the show starts now. Stepping in, Whit Merrifield. He will lead this one off today. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Nope. And we are underway this afternoon from Arlington as the first pitch misses for ball one. Can't sit back long enough, and the count evens up at one and one. Our temperature not quite as hot as we'd expected 85 degrees the reading at first pitch a two and one two count one to one the leadoff hitter for Kansas City big sweeping breaking ball right there good pitch but if he wants to get him to swing at it he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone there's Connor Falefa and a good throw gets him one gun next up Nicky Lopez Now the first pitch swung on but fouled off to the left. Fastball and always oh, has to bend out of the way of that one. Lopez is really a well balanced hitter. That doesn't seem to matter whether he's facing a right hander or a lefty. He makes a lot of loud contact either now, way which is quite rare in today's game. Yeah, you can tell this guy really pays attention, puts time in the cage, studies the video, seems to always have a game plan, and is not off balance too much. Turned on, but it's wide at first and foul. Grounder down the line at third, and that finds its way through for a base hit. the catcher Salvador Perez as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. And he takes a cold strike one. Lopez stands at first with one out. Ball and two strikes to the Royals catcher. One two is a breaking ball. You can't find the zone, and it's even at two. Now a throw over. And he just manages to get his hand in. The two two. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. And that'll bring up the left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi, who takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. From the stretch, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. Throw over to the bag, and he'll get back in safely. The 1 0 pitch. Well, this is a spot you'd like to be in. 2 0, good hitter. He's going to turn it loose right here. As a look, now the pitch. Got himself a 2 0 fastball there, but he couldn't connect 2 and 1. Now, this pitcher's feeling the flow right now. Two outs in the first inning. He's got really nice mechanics working right now. And he's in the second safely with a stolen base. The 3 and 1 pitch. Popped up. And this is going to be a foul ball. And he'll hang in here as he reaches to foul this one away. Oh. 
Line drive base hit. He'll come home with it. And he will beat the tag. Safe at the plate. That is good. The designated hitter. So now Carlos Santana. A ball of no strikes. I think this inning could have far-reaching effects in this game. They're really making him work, and unless he dials it in, it's probably going to limit how deep he goes into this game. And the fastball hitting 93 on the gun. It's one and one. Now a move over to first. And a dive, but he's back in. Set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Ah, and he took something off of it there. It's 1-2. and two. He's looking pretty passive here, hitting with a chance to drive in a run. Going to have to make something happen with two strikes now. Had to wait back on the changeup, and he did a good job just to make contact. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. That's a ball. We just saw a fastball right there. I would not be shocked if he tries to get this guy to go fishing right here and drops a little off-speed pitch in the dirt. And he fouls this one off. Set to deal on two and two. Again, he sends it out of play. Another try at 2 2. And now a curveball as he's got to lean out of the way. That one nearly got him. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Fouled away. The 3-2 pitch. And it's fouled away. He's set. Here's the 3-2. And, and a good at-bat that time as he lays off for ball four. As a result, that'll move a runner up into scoring position now with two away. He's set and the pitch. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Tough situation early out on the mound, but if he can limit the damage right here, might build some confidence and get him rolling. One ball, one strike to count. One and two Count as the changeup had two. him out in front there. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. So now here is Leody Tavares. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Here comes. Line drive to left. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. And immediately, the Royals have to deal with a real burner standing at first base. Not Not stop. Isaiah. So now Kiner up steps Kiner Isaiah Conner Falefa. As he will take strike one on the fastball here, no balls in a strike. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. Well, that backdoor breaking ball just missed right there. It's a very effective pitch. If you can hit the outside corner of that pitch, it's unhittable. The one-two pitch. Just a bit high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. Fastball didn't three, miss two. by much, and it's a full count now. Three and two. Got to believe that runner from first is going to be in motion, especially in this situation. As an offensive player, just hit something hard because those defenders are going to be moving. He throws him on the fastball there. Isaiah kiner Falefa is retired for the first out here in the bottom half of the first. From the belt, kicks and deals. Good speed at first and good speed with the guy at the dish. Going to be tough to double up these guys. If you're an infielder, got to get rid of it quick. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Hey. Fastball called for strike two. 
surprised the pitcher would even go to the top of the zone looking for a double play in this situation. A great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one and he's down on strikes for the second out. Batting four. Two the down with a runner at first. And now here's Nate Lowe. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Pitch misses low. The throw down. Way late. And he's in there easily at second. That evens it up. One and one. The one and one pitch. Got two balls, one strike. Ball left now a ball line hard toward deep right field. Isbell will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Second inning set to go, and that means batting next will be the center fielder, Michael A. Taylor. Michael A. Taylor. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Off the plate, ball one. One oh count. Here it is. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. No one on with one down, and that'll bring up Hunter Dozier. Hunter Dozier. First delivery to him. The 0 and 1 delivery. One and one. So that's two pitches in a row above the belt. As a hitter, that's what you're looking for, especially when it's a day game and the ball is carried. That just wasn't a good enough pitch to hit. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Now the pitch. Ball two. One out, nobody Three, on. Two. Bearing one down and away, but it's full count now. Three and two. And he misses here for ball four. Already two walks surrendered in his first couple of innings of work. Next to stand in is Kyle Isbell. First pitch coming. Here it is. That's lifted the other way out to left. Left fielder giving chase. He gets there, and that's the second out. With Merrifield next to bat. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Here's the first pitch. Now a swing and a deep drive to left, and it ain't coming back. And out of here, and I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. And now, Nicky Lopez. He rounds it sharply to third. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired.
Here's the former prize Dodger prospect Willie Calhoun. As they'll have five, six, and seven here to start the home half of the second. Hey, Maddie, they need to get some offense going in this one. Getting a run back in this inning, give them a little bit of confidence that they can keep up in this game. Goodness. 0-2 oh now. Calhoun stands 5 feet 8 inches tall. Bats left, throws right. He was a fourth round selection back in the 2015 MLB draft. Hey, this middle round selection is still developing, but he's doing it at the big league level. And he has a lot of time to get his tool set ironed out. The 2-2. And he takes a good swing at that one as this is sent down the line in right, but ultimately into the crowd of foul ball. Here's another 2-2. Two -two. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. One out base is empty, and that means Nick Solak will dig in. First pitch coming, here it is. And they go right after him on the inside corner for strike one. Stays alive, still 0-2. Try to bounce ball, a curveball on 0 2, but he holds back. It's 1 and 2 now. After multiple pitches were fouled off, it gets a little disappointing as a pitcher. So you think, say, I'm going to throw one way off the plate and see if he'll chase it. It didn't happen. Now it'll be Jonah Hine to try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. in there and it's even at one man this pitcher is on right now pounding the zone attacking these hitters he's making it look easy a little behind on that swing and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate here comes the one two bases are empty here with two men out on the ground to the left side Mondesi picks it up over to first, and that retires the side. Top of the third set to get underway, and that'll bring in the veteran catcher, Salvador Perez. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Swing and a ball lifted in the air toward the line in right. And that one skips up over the wall for a ground rule double. The left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi stands in as he swings and grounds it toward the hole. And just past his outstretched glove into left, a base hit. Now that a designated hitter, Carlos. Here's Carlos Santana now. As he'll take a look at a curveball that misses wide for ball one. And they're runners at the corners now. And that one yanked just foul. He's got a good feel for his off-speed pitch his second time through the order. And we just saw three in a row. Again, another foul ball. Swing and a ball hit on the ground. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. Pulled toward right center field. Tavares waits on it. Looks it into his glove and there's one gone. And they decide not to push things here with one away as he'll hold on at third base. So next to the plate for the Royals, Adalberto Mondesi, who went down on strikes in his last at bat. He's set. Here it comes. Hey, it's nearly impossible to turn two with a guy that could run like this. It's even harder when he comes out of the box hitting from the left side. You really need something tailor made to even have a chance to get him at first. One 
on one. Hit out towards second. And that is through into center field, a base hit. And another runs across as this is now a 4 0 ball game. And he's safe. The center field of the two. First things first, here's a throw over. And the runner will get back standing. To the plate now, Michael Taylor. As he'll take a called strike here on a borderline pitch at strike one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. And he pumps the fastball no by him at 94. Two it's 0 and 2. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation oh, of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back to back. On its way, the 0-2 pitch. You know, I think he's having a hard time with that curveball right now, and that's part of the reason why he struggled early on in the start. It's so important to have command of those secondary pitches, or hitters just start sitting on the hard stuff. Still a ball and two strikes. Runners are at the corners with one man out. To two, two balls and two, two strikes strike. now. He might have to look for a different way to put this guy away on 2-2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times, so he might be looking for it. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. So two away here in the Kansas City third, and that'll bring up Hunter Dozier. Hoping to limit the damage, here's the pitch. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Line drive to left. And what an effort on the running play to end the inning. So here is DJ Peters as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. There's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout. This guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. Slider is in there and now it's one and two. Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already and there's your first down. Next to hit, Yoni Hernandez has the switch hitter will bat right handed here. It's hard to come up with any rhyme or reason why switch hitters hit from one side better than the other. But if you look at the numbers, he's not quite as successful hitting. And that is off the first base bag. And they won't get an out from this as he's able to reach on a play that you just don't see very often. Now a throw over to first. No, Lee Hody. At the plate now, Leody Tavares. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. Now a throw over. Runner back safely. And again a throw, keeping particularly close tabs on it. Once more, a throw over. And the fans don't like this at all. And yet another throw over. And he'll dive back in safely. The 1 0 home is laid off, but in there for strike one. Two balls and a strike to the Rangers leadoff hitter. Hoping to discourage a steal attempt with the slide step here. Yeah, that's a good way of trying to control the running game, Matt. The problem with it, though, it has a tendency to throw your command off because you're worrying about that runner on base. Good thing he didn't make contact with that pitch. Only thing he could do is probably hit that on the ground. It could be a double play ball. And this is swung on and missed. His fifth strikeout already. And there are two gone in the inning. Shortstop, 
Isaiah. Tyler Valesa. From the belt, kicks and deals. As he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. Throw over to the bag. A dive, but he's back in there. The 1 0. Runner goes for second. That's a strike to throw down. And he is out at second. Caught stealing to end the inning. New inning set to get underway. And at the plate will be the speedy outfielder, Kyle Isbell. Kyle Isbell. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Left side, but well fouled. Well, it's been a rough one so far. Four runs through three innings. It's about time to get that pitch count down, or he won't be out here very long. Runs up and gets this one down. Throw to first oh. in time. One gone here in the fourth. One away for the Royals here in the fourth. And that'll bring up the second baseman, Whit Merrifield. He turned around that fastball and drove it out of the park in his previous at bat. So there's got to be a good chance they mix it up right here on him and try and go off speed. One ball, no strikes to count. Fouled off. The 1-1. One, one. Four runs, six hits, and no errors so far for the Royals. And he fouls this one off. Fouled away. Hey, have an A-B right here. I know it's frustrating the heck out of the pitcher. You keep fouling these pitches off, maybe one misses over the heart of the plate. Slap hard the opposite way. That's in for a base hit, and he's two for three. Into the box now, Nicky Lopez. As he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. There goes the runner. Pitch oh outside. The throw is not going to get him as he swipes second. The 1-1 one, one home. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. And no one will track it down. Merrifield leads off second with one gun in the inning. Nearly inside, got the inside, but ruled the ball. Shin high fastball that time, ball three. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3 2 change. If he can locate it, nope, it's nearly impossible to hit. There's ball four. The catcher, number 13. Salvador. Salvador Perez will be his first assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and one gone. From the stretch, here's the pitch. He'll swing and lift a ball fouled off to the left and out of play. Allard has proven to be a guy that throws strikes coming out of the pen and doesn't walk a lot of batters. Oh, Boy, to every manager and pitching coach, Matty V, they love to bring a guy in that they know one thing. He's going to throw strikes and not beat himself, and this guy is certainly not afraid to attack the strike zone. The one two. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. So next to bat will be Andrew Benintendi. Two men on, two away here in the fourth. First pitch of the A-B now. Hit out towards second. He's right there. On to first, and the Royals can't cash in as the inning is over. Bottom of the inning now, and stepping up is the shortstop, Isaiah Kiner Falefa. First offering on its way. Lofted in the air out to right field. 
Isbell moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for at number one. Next up is Adolis Garcia. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. And now pitch on the way. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And he checks his swing. Did he go around? Yes, says the first base umpire. Strike two. The 0 2 delivery. Oh. Tried to throw the fastball by him, but one it's ball. high. One and two. two. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this really two wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. Bounce it to the left side. And that gets through for a one out base hit. Now back. First base Nate Lowe digging in now. And oh, she'll take down. a look at ball one. Lowe, originally from the state of Virginia, he was a 13th round pick back in the 2016 first year nope. player right, draft. Hey, this guy's got a chance to be an absolute steal. Being drafted where he was, there are definite signs that he has a chance to make an impact at the big league level. He pulls this one high and deep to right center field. And, oh, he missed a home run by a matter of feet. It's off the wall. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one-out double. Willie Calhoun. Stepping in now, Willie Calhoun. Nope. Ball and one. that misses for ball one. Struck out in his first at-bat. And this is foul tipped at the plate right off the arm of the catcher behind the plate. Ouch. He's got that certainly timed up now. I'd be shocked if the pitcher goes to the well three times in a row with all speed. And it's fouled away. Pulled toward right center field. Taylor is there. He's there to make the catch. And here comes the runner from third as this should get him on the board. And there's a first step in the comeback. The sack fly makes this a four to one ball game. Up next, the Nick Sola. Second baseman. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Nope, that's the ball. Hey, this pitcher's gonna have to step off the mound right here and refocus. Take a deep breath, something. Can't keep falling behind and creating traffic. Puts everybody on edge, not only himself, his defense, and especially his manager. The 1 1. Low at second with two down. And that misses two and two. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Here's the 2 2. Line toward the alley in left center, and he won't get it as that's down for a base hit. And that'll score the runner from second as Bavita's cut to 4 2 now. The catcher, number 28. Gilda. Standing in now, Jonah Hine. Popped him up. Mondesi is under it. And the inning is over. Trust me when I tell you no exceptions to the rule. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. And standing in is the DH, Carlos Santana. First pitch on its way. As he'll take a look at an off-speed pitch here that misses for ball one. Edge of the zone that time taken and ruled a strike. Ball one strike. There's a foul ball off to the right side and that'll move the count to one and two. Back up the middle and that's a base hit so the pressure's on to open up the inning. Third base, Adalberto 
Mondesi. At the plate, Adalberto Mondesi. As he'll take one up in the zone, oh, but indeed one. in the strike zone for the first strike. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Peters will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. So one gone in the inning here with a runner at first, and that means batting next will be the center fielder, Michael A. Taylor. From the stretch. And there's a swing and a miss and an off speed pitch to start him out. Nothing in one. He struggled quite a bit at the plate in this one. So until he shows he can put a good swing on the ball, I don't think they're going to give him anything straight that he can handle. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And standing in the rookie outfielder, DJ Peters. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Fouled off. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Ball, second side. Nope, outside. Ball, let go. A 3 1 count, time run on deck. Good spot to be a hitter right now. You have to look for something middle in. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Waiting on it is Ben Intendi. One away. Digging in, the switch hitter, Young Hernandez. One for one with a single so far. Pitch on the way. They'll try and entice him with a high fastball, but he wouldn't commit. It's ball one. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. A little bit outside. Two and one. And a check swing here as he couldn't help himself, and it's ruled strike two. The 2-2. Two -two. Bases are empty, one man out. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. So now to the plate, Leody Tavares, one for two. He singled and struck out in two trips. Drops in a strike to start the at bat, nothing in one. And low, it's a ball and a strike. One and one. From the windup, the one one pitch. Ball two. Two balls, one strike. Three balls. If I'm in the strike. box right now, I'm coming unglued. He is going to throw something over the heart of the plate. Line drive to left. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Success on a three and one count to keep the inning alive here. The batter number nine. Throw over to first. He'll get dirty, but he's back in safely. Into the box, Isaiah Kiner Falefa. And a pitch out. Nothing doing, though, and that's ball one. Here's a look over to first. Runners back. The 1 0. It's a fastball that misses. Lifted down the line and left. And he just couldn't keep that ball fair as it winds up a long foul ball. Now a throw over to first. And the runner back. Tavares is off of first with two away. Aye. That's on the outside corner. Count two and two. I got to count two and two. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. 
Merrifield is there and the side is retired. Now with the plate is Hunter Dozier. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. Yeah, Maddie, it's always a little frustrating when you square one up. You hit a solid line drive like he did, and all you have to show for it is a jog back to the dugout. That can get in your head for a little while. Not close. It's 2-0. Oh. Not even close with the 1-0. Oh. He needs to get back in the zone, but be careful. Work the quadrants. Two balls and a strike now. I know that fastball registered at about 92, 93, but I guarantee you it looked about four to five miles an hour faster than that for this offensive player. After coming off a curveball, the old push the throttle and pull it is being used. Two two pitches fouled away. Into the windup and the pitch. Hit on the ground toward the left. There's Connor Falefa. Close play at first, but a great stretch that time as they get him by a step for up number one. Stepping in once again is Kyle Isbell. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Starts things here with a changeup for a cold strike. Down to the way, ball one. Now the one and one pitch. We're in the sixth inning now of a four to two ball game. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. With Merrifield next to hit. First pitch on its way. And a changeup here misses off the corner to start him out. It's ball one. Cut fastball misses downstairs, and it's 2 0 now. Now here's the pitch. Hot shot to third. For the first with time to spare, and the side is retired. Number 54 takes the mound as he's been called upon to pitch. Number 54. Now at the plate, Adolis Garcia. He'll start things out for the Rangers in there after the sixth. First pitch of the A.B. now. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Now a slider well off the plate, an easy take there. I'll try to pick up that outside corner, but this misses, and it's back to even at two balls and two strikes. Hit in the air down the right field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. The 2 2. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Back goes Taylor to the track. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. And now, Nate Lowe. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Good hard slider there, but it runs away. It's a ball and a strike. Here's the one and one pitch. And it's belted high and deep into right center. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Driving forward now is the D.H. Willie Calhoun. He hit a sack fly earlier. Calhoun. And now the first pitch. As he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. One out, nobody on. Early swing there as he pulls it foul to the right side. On a good changeup, a swing and a miss, and he's set down on strikes for the second time now today. Second base Into the box, Nick Solak. He delivered an RBI single in his last trip. 
A fastball oh, here as you'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Hit hard on the ground towards second. And that's through for a hit. At the plate now, Jonah Hine. As he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. That's a great call right there. Fastball away with a guy who's got some jets on first base. Almost like a hybrid pitch out. Great for a catcher if that guy's running. Easy transfer throw to second base. A little too tall that time. Three and one now. DJ Peters would be next. And a full count now. Three and two. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. High in the air out towards shallow right. He's under it, and that ends the inning. Kansas City, Nicky Lopez. He'll lead it off here as we begin Nicky. inning number seven. Nicky. First Nicky. pitch on its way. And he popped him up. And this is going to get down. It's a foul ball. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be late on that fastball. Oh, and you talk about a pitcher getting the benefit of the doubt. That's low, but called a strike anyway. Nothing in two now. One and two, Whoa, the counts yeah. of the Royals shortstop. Stone cold take right there. That fastball very well could have sent him packing back to the bench. Even count, two balls and two strikes. The 2-2. Two -two. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. And now Salvador Perez struck out in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring positions. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. Strike one to start the at bat. Chopper to short. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. Up next to the goal. Stepping in now, Andrew Benintendi. And he puts it on the ground to second. The second for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Kyle Zimmer gets the call from the pen to take the ball for the home seven. Now into the box, DJ Peters. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. As he takes a cold strike at the knees. It's 0 and 1. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep the ball around the knees like that. 1 1. Waves and misses for strike one number ball, two. Two strikes. Yeah, guys, he's got so much respect for this guy's fastball. You could tell he was out in front on that slider. I think he goes to the well one more time with that pitch. The 2 2. When you're playing Three close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. Protecting with two strikes, one out of the zone that time, but he stays alive. The next 3 2. He's swung on and missed strike three. Next, it'll be Yoni Hernandez. He sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. Outside, yeah, two and one. one We're in the seventh inning now of a 4-3 ball game. Can't yeah, find the zone one. there, and it's three and one. It'd be great right here if he was able to work himself on base. You got the leadoff hitter on deck, and you know the middle of the order is coming up right behind him. 
This is hit the other way out toward left field. Waiting on it is Benintendi. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. So next to the play for Texas, Leody Tavares. Two hits in three at-bats for him in this one. The pitch. Bottom part of the zone, a good changeup gets the call. It's pretty tough for a hitter to go up there looking for a first pitch changeup. And a good job of dropping it in for strike one. 1-1. A, one, one. a ball and two strikes now. Three runs, eight hits, and no errors in the contest for the Rangers so far. And they'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at 2-2. Two and two. And he fouls this one off. Texas down to their final strike in this one. And it's three balls and two strikes to the Rangers center fielder. Isaiah Kiner Falefa would be next. Full count still. The next three, two. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential tying run here is aboard late in the game. Greg Holland takes over on the mound now as he'll try to get the final out of the ball game here and pick up a save. Isaiah Kiner Falefa will be the first to greet him here as he stands in with a runner at first and two away. From the stretch. Now a fastball that couldn't quite find the zone. It's ball one. With that base running threat on first base, man, does that change the pitcher's whole mentality. This guy at the plate should assume nothing but heaters coming right at him. The 1-0 home. And they pitch out here, but nothing's happening. Ball two. 2-0 two count, the pitch. 3-0 and oh now. Well, this has been a long inning already, and I know he doesn't want it to get any longer. I expect a challenge pitch right here. And he'll just lay this one in there. Three and one. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. And he missed with it. Ball four. So that means now the potential tying run will move into scoring position at second. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. Adolis Garcia is in with two away as he takes a ball, 1-0. Perfect time for a mound visit right here. Just give him a breather, a chance to collect himself and get back to work. Count even now with 1-1. One and, one. and here's a pitch swung on and missed, 1-2 and two now. Fouled away. Here's the one-two. Swing and a shot toward right center. Isbell is there to make the catch, and with that, the ball game is over. Hey, this was a pretty tightly played game. Got a little bit of everything in this one. Some timely hitting, runs on the board, key pitching, and defense in certain spots. This one was a fun one to watch. A one-run finish, 4-3, to three, the final tally today. Kansas City jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Mike Miner is credited with the win. Kohei Arihara couldn't escape the fourth inning as he slapped with the loss. So that'll do it for us. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to the new website, theshow.com. this afternoon. First for the victorious Kansas City Royals. Four runs on nine hits. No errors. They left eight men on base. For the Rangers, three runs on eight hits. No errors. They left seven men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and two minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.